trotting fishing and I know that you are great at trotting fishing so I thought I'd phone for some good advice. Uh-huh. Right. So go in your bag and get out your 501s from the 80s. Right? And give them a go. Alright, well you're the expert so I'll, I'll use your 501s in the bag in the shed. Alright, I'll give them a go. Fair enough. Ring you back in a bit. 501s from the 80s? Must be like lucky pants or something. Anyway, he knows what he's talking about. Let's give it a go. Right, let's go and get the 501s out. guys after a lot of mucking around I figured it out it wasn't actually the 501 jeans it was these 501 reels these are made by Abu uh, they are quite old I must admit they're about I think they're about 20 something years old 20 something years old well not almost as old as me I'm not saying how old I am these reels are deadly and I always say about most things but these are actually very deadly I've used one before very very smooth um, most people when they go trotting they use a center pin reel now don't get me wrong center pins are fantastic however if the flow of the river is very fast, sometimes with a centre pin you have to uh, guide the line down to peel it off. Depending on the centre pin, you have to spend a lot of money to get a good centre pin that doesn't need that with really, really good bearings. These reels, however, will peel off with absolutely the smallest of resistance. Let me just run through the reel. As you can see, Abu 501, I'm not being sponsored by Abu by the way, just to get that clear. It would be nice, Abu. Right, 501, I'm just saying these are good at what they do. It's a closed face reel. Now, some of you may have used a fixed spool reel before. I myself is very, I'm very particular to this uh, fixed spool reel. This, however, is a new method to me. I was wondering, worrying if I was going to be any good at it or, or get along with the reel, um, and it is quite easy. It means it's a closed face. You just undo the closed face or the face of the reel here, and there, underneath there, is your spool of line. Now, it doesn't really have. Um, a clutch like um, most uh, uh, fixed ball reels do they, they tend to have like a clutch at the back here or, or one that you can twist or sometimes one at the front there's none of that here all there is um, like even they don't even have a bail arm like some of you may see where the bail arm goes over this fixed ball it doesn't even have that what it has is this little button here you press it in did you hear that click that is basically the bail arm off so the line will freely come off of the reel once you start winding it engages and uh, you don't got tension on the reel or on the line rather Inside, under here, as tricky as it is to get to, I'll try and show you on camera, he says. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Never worked with uh, animals, children or animals, eh? Or uh, Abu Reels, live on cam. There you go. Right, I've a little bit of struggling. Sorry, I don't know my own strength when I put the reel on, or the front of the reel on. It's come off now, that'll spin off there. 
and you can see your spool of line underneath and all I've got on there is six pound I think monofilament it just clips in and the line literally peels off around the side I've get, it's an old reel I've given it a good uh, service I've bought some new bits and bobs off of, off of like, online eBay is your friend guys um, and apart from that a bit of oil and that and it seems to be as good as new now I said before about the clutch the clutch are really on this reel is on this side here and it's slightly adjustable by just spinning a a, uh, well, I don't know, it's like a, a nut and a bolt really um, the more you tighten it, the nut and the bolt here the tighter the clutch is, now you've got a front wind like normal and a back wind and the back wind obviously is the when you're playing the fish to control it, give it line or, or, or to take the line back and that's all you've got so um, I know it seems very simple but trust me guys it's so simple, it's genius let's go and give this reel a go I know that they're great for trotting so I'm going to go for the chub as I said and maybe something else you never know what's in these fast flowing waters you've got all sorts of species you've got chub, barbel, uh, dace, um, uh, uh, Christ there's even, there's even uh, brown trout, rainbow trout um, well they all live in those sort of waters and the thing is with those kind of fish because they're they're going against the current, constantly going against the current their whole life, they're very, even, even some carp as well they, they seem to be very strong muscular fish so it's really good, real good fight most of the time anyway and the, the weather we've been having lately there's a lot of flow in the water so anyway, enough chatting about the turtle or the tackle here as I said, the setup, I know you know guys know now the setup let's get down the river and see if I can actually finally catch myself a decent chub or, or a barbel or something like that but uh, you never know well, it's no good sitting here, is it? You've got to be in it to win it, guys. So let's get down the river. Might as well fish. Stay tuned. Let's go. Let's go. Every day brings brand new power. Catching chub. And guys, this chub is huge. It's got to be about four pounds. Oh my goodness. Guys, it's probably a PB. Let me get him in the net if I can. Wow. We guys. This is probably the biggest shot of my life. This is easily the biggest shot of my life. Oh my god, guys. I'm serious. Come on, baby. In the net. In the net. Come on. Why are you both fishing? In the net. In the net. Chub for nothing, they're greedy guys. Alright, hooks out, let's find yourself here. Yeah? Right guys, Wayne's World Fishing. This has got to be my personal best chub by far. Look at that for an absolute specimen of a fish. Fin perfect, absolute cracking fight. He's got to be best part of four, maybe five pounds. That is a fantastic specimen by anybody's, anybody's standards, especially here at Wayne's World. Absolutely over the moon with that. First fish of the day, first cast on the bottom. There's plenty more where that came from. I've actually seen a barbel out there. Believe it or not, I'm gonna go for him next. I said I'm coming for Chub, and here's the Chub. Wayne's World fishing, you saw it here first, guys. Don't forget to subscribe on the fish. There you go. <laughs> Next fish, let's keep them coming. Wayne's well. I thought I'd just take five minutes out to show you through the rigs that I've got today. I've got two rods set up, one match, one quiver tip. Both of them very different in their setups. First of all, here's my Avon quiver tip. I've used it before. With just a little cage feeder here. Um, just box down, I don't know what it is, like 2.5, uh, no, 25 gram, sorry, uh, cage feeder. It comes down to, I put a little, uh, uh, bead there is a stock bead to a little thing that's about size 8 swivel and that's six pound uh, monofilament main line down to again six pound monofilament um, little, uh, what's that, like a trace down to the hook itself. The hook is a uh, size 10 specimen barbless as always. But the trick today is we're putting a little bit of bread on this along with some topped off with some maggots. But the last maggot is an artificial one. And the reason for that is because it's a barbless hook, the maggots keep wriggling off and the bread will disintegrate after a while in the water because it's running quite rapidly. Um, 
so the maggots are hoping to stay on the hook, but they don't. Now, if you top it off with this artificial one, that stops the live ones getting off, stops them wriggling off. So there's always some bait in the water, so you've always got a chance of catching. That's what I, that's what my quiver tip set up. Well, guys, I've had that one chub. Uh, it's better than no chub. Personal best for me, I must admit. That was a cracking chub. Unfortunately, I didn't have my scales, so uh, I think I've left them in my pike gear. So I'll have to get them out for tomorrow. I'm trying to get a couple more hours in tomorrow. Chub fishing again. I'm going to keep the rods set up. They're going to go in the van as they are to minimise having to muck about on the bankside tomorrow because time is limited tomorrow. But come on, guys, I ain't blanking. I've been out many times from last video to this one, and I've blanked every single time. It's been very hard. It was no, we've had some massive floods, and it's been like a chocolate the water. It's been ever so hard to fish. And I was even surprised I caught something today, but I came for Chubb and I succeeded. I came, I saw, I conquered. And there's still tomorrow yet, so hopefully we get some more Chubb on the banks to show you guys. But if not, what a cracking day. I couldn't have picked a better day. It hasn't been this nice for months. So uh, nothing, nothing gained. No, well, when I say nothing gained, I've got a Chubb, so nothing lost, just gained today. So, but I've got to go home now. I've got things to do. I've got to go to my friends who's opening up an ice cream parlour. As much as I love fishing, I love ice cream a bit more. So uh, waffles and ice cream, Ooh, yes please. Until uh, until tomorrow, might as well fishing. Uh, wet nets and uh, tight lines. See you tomorrow. Just ready to get going I'm all set up I'm gonna go trotting today now trotting is a, is a style of fishing it doesn't mean I've had a funny curry the night before and I've been I've got the trots for the day it actually is a way of fishing on fast flowing rivers and semi fast flowing rivers now I'm not an expert in by far in fact I've done it I think once and I did it pretty badly however dad is an expert and I've asked him a few things or two about it he recommends center pin face reel. Now the close face reel that he's asked me to use is this. This is the Abo 501 as you saw. It's the weapon of choice today. I've got it on my 11 foot match rod using 6 pound monofilament line all the way through to the hook. The hook itself is a number 10 semi barbed mustard hook. The reason for semi barbed is these fish do fight hard in these rivers. Don't forget they're fighting against the current the whole life and wherever there's chub there's also barbel and if you do catch a barbel you really don't want it to come off. Uh, that goes up to a couple of swan shot here and uh, this is a loafer float made by Drennan basically it's a cylinder bulbous float and the reason why I want it to be perfectly cylinder rather than a peacock quill which is slightly bent is less resistance in flowing water um, about three maybe three and a half feet from the hook to the float it might be a bit deeper we'll check it out as I get down there but yeah it should be good fun we're going for the chub but the odds of catching roach rudd anything like that in fast flowing waters are high so enough talking Let's get down the river, give it a go. You never know, unless you, you've got to be in it to win it, as I always say, guys, right down to the river, let's go. All right, guys, Wayne's World Fishing. Got to be about my fifth cast now, and I've hooked something. And it looks like, it looks like a barbell, guys. No, it's a chub, I think, it's a chub. Oh my God, guys, no, I'm lying. It's a rainbow trout. Can you believe it? <laughs> Going for chub and barbell. And I've only got, I mean, got myself a rainbow trout. If I just grab that, give us the net, please, me. It's a lovely rainbow, guys. Typical Wayne's World fishing here. I say I'm going for uh, the chub and then end up catching trout, but I'm letting my guys. Look at him cracking. He's in the net. He's in the net. Hooray! Oh, what do you think of that then, guys? Um. I'm absolutely chuffed. There's one angry trout though. Very nice trout. Probably a PB. Let's have a look. Yeah. Look at that rainbow trout. What a cracking species. Almost fin perfect from a rubbish little river like this. Just goes to show what you can catch. Cracker. Let me come in. Beautiful coloration there. Beautiful coloration. Look at the spots on his back and the pink stripe down the uh, middle of his belly there. Look, cracking fish. Cracking fish. Anyway, let's put him back for another day. He'll probably be very happy to go back home. <laughs> there you go. Not bad for a Sunday afternoon, eh? Every 
difference Brand new battle You fight And you die Flip the switches Turn off gauges We dance In the light For tonight episode I'm afraid. As you saw it worked. The trotting, the new reel, everything seemed to work. I caught a chub and went out for him. What a cracking fish that was. Not only that, I had a little bonus fish on the second session which was a lovely rainbow trout which makes a fantastic difference which are normally it's usually normal coarse fish for me but to catch a trout I was over the moon with that. So as you see as I said it hasn't been in vain. It's been a fantastic couple of sessions but because it's the end of the season next week I'll be sticking off uh, just to commercial fisheries and you'll probably be seeing me doing a bit more carp fishing. I know it's not my forte but nevertheless carp fishing is fishing and I do enjoy it I must admit. I have a couple of videos up my sleeve. I must say guys, ever so sorry for not putting up a couple of videos in the last couple of months. Um, I've been so, so busy. Trust me, fishing and videos, and you guys are always on my mind. Always at the back of my mind. Trying to sort things out first, just get myself sorted. But I will definitely be uploading more videos in the new season. 2014, I can't wait. This season has so much to offer. Please guys, don't forget to subscribe. If you've subscribed previously, fantastic. If not, just hit the button, it always helps. That way you can keep up to date with my fishing adventures. And also, give me your feedback on my videos. And comments, always welcome, whether they're negative or positive. Anyway guys, stay tuned for more Ways Well Fishing this, in the new season, and in the commercial fisheries coming up. Stay tuned, Ways Well Fishing, more fishing action, I hope.